Hey fellow explorers, I got a new camera backpack about six months ago that I want to share with you today. This is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack in the 30 liter size and I'm going to try to review this backpack in two minutes. Why two minutes? Well because, you know, so many reviews on YouTube, they're just so long and you see a 10 minute review and what do you do? You just skip to the end because you want to know the final thoughts and so in this video, it's all final thoughts. You don't need to skip to the end. I'm going to put two minutes here on the sand timer so I make sure I get this done in under two minutes. All right. What what do I like about this backpack? Well, I like that it's big, I like that it's sturdy, but most of all, I like the design of it that instead of opening from the top like this, it has two compartments that open from the sides. And so you can actually open this while it's on your back and you don't have to put it on the ground. Though for this video, I'm opening it like this. In particular, I got this so that I could carry the DJI RS3 gimbal with my Sony a7 III attached and balanced and then I can just put in the backpack already set up to go. But you can store so many other things in here. It's got little pockets where I store like the handle for that. It's got another similar pocket over here on the other side where, oh look, there's a panda right in that one. And then it does have a thing that opens on the top right up here with this little neat pull down thing. And this is where I'll put like my jacket or diapers for my three year old daughter, enough to store another panda. And in addition to these sides that zip like this, I also like on the back, it's just really clean how these straps hold onto the backpack because there's actually magnets that hold it in place to keep it nice and clean. Nice leather handle up on the top. Overall, just feels really good. There are two big water bottle pockets on the side. Oh, I knocked down my timer, so hopefully it was two minutes. The water bottle pockets on the side that you can put like big water bottles in there. I like that because when I'm out shooting, I get thirsty and I need to drink and I definitely want to keep my water outside the backpack and these pockets just like um, the straps on the back have magnetic enclosures that keep them closed and one for a bottle of water and one for another panda. What do I not like about this backpack? Um, I keep knocking over that timer. What do I not like about this backpack? Maybe it's it's like a little too rigid and it's a little small, but if it was bigger, then it would just probably be really bulky on the back. I'm six foot tall and so it fits pretty well on my back. Um, I think it also looks good on the back. Like it just looks good and it feels good and it doesn't really look like a camera backpack. So I think it makes it less of a theft target, although I wouldn't leave it on a park bench all by itself. Um, retail price of this, $299. That's the other con. It is an expensive backpack, but it definitely feels well-made. And oh, there's also a pocket here in the back so that you can carry a laptop along with you. I can stick my 15 inch MacBook Pro right there in the back. So if you're looking for a nice camera backpack that you can put a lot of stuff, I think this is a good one. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is it's got this really novel system that like these little, these, these things, these little shelves, they're connected with Velcro inside. And so you use this to make the different compartments so you can shape the compartments inside this to shape whatever you want. A gimbal, a camera, 12 cameras, 12 lenses, either way, there you go. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this review and you want to check out some of my other travel gear reviews, you'll find some videos here on the screen to some of my other favorite items or right here to my entire travel gear review playlist. And as usual, I won't say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video. How did I do on two minutes? I don't know. I probably failed on this one, but I hope to do better next time.